much tacos. Oh, you're so sweet, aren't you? Oh, you know you're so sweet, don't you? What is going on, guys? My name is Zach, or Boy with a Camera, and today I am finally bringing you another video. It's 2020, January 2020, and I am super excited to be back making videos. I'm super excited to get back out there and do things. I'm just, I haven't been really making any videos in a while, or it's been a really long time since I made a video, it's been a really long time since I edited a video, and I, I think it's going to feel good to get back in the swing of things. So, today we are going, wow, is that time already at 43 seconds? Today we are going to uh, a little, I don't know exactly what it's called, but near my house there's this little path and it leads to a cool kind of abandoned mysterious lake. And there's a bunch of graffiti and a bunch of vandalism and a bunch of rocks. And it's just a really cool place for hanging out. So we're going to go check it out today. I'm going to explore with you guys. We're going to get to see this place firsthand. And um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, without further ado, I'm going to get right into it. Tacos. <laughs> Look at your tail. Hey. Hi. Hi. Hey. Hey. Alright guys, just parked the car and um right over here. Looks like there's a little pond over here. So this is the bridge that the cars drive on. That's my house is over that way. So this is one of like the main bridges, the main roads kind of thing. And you wouldn't know that there's this little water area, this little river. You wouldn't know this is under here unless you actually got down to exploring it. So I think it's really cool. It's like a hidden little lake area. There's a lot of graffiti though. I will say that. But I feel like in pretty much every kind of abandoned hidden place there's a lot of graffiti. It says Daddy's little girl. I'm not sure what that is, but and there's that. <laughs> so the hike from where we started to the place I want to show you is about, I'd say, 0.25 miles. It's not a really long hike. It's not really difficult. I remember one time I was coming here, I ran it because I wanted to Ask you know because I thought it was a lot longer than it actually was, but I wasn't even tired by the time we got there, so it was really nice to just kind of relax by the water. But the this trail it goes about I'd say one and a half miles, and it ends. There's a big fence that blocks you from getting to the end of the trail. I'm not sure why, but I'm pretty sure it's just closed for some reason. But if above or not above it, but like right next to it, there's a school. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's an elementary school or a middle school, but that might be one of the reasons why the trail is closed off. But this trail is like great for jogging, it's nice and shady, there's some really cool views, there's really great places to stop and take breaks. So I can't wait to show you the rest of it. can see right here there's right there there's the gate there's two entrances to get in here one of the gates is a bit farther that way along the trail and then one of them is right here obviously so we're gonna take this one see what happens Ah. 
looks a lot more overgrown than it was last time I was here. But as you can see, like I said, there's like all these rocks are just painted. Everything is painted. And this place definitely wouldn't be the same, like anywhere near the same if there wasn't graffiti. So I think it's awesome. But I know a lot of people would disagree. But this is the main the main site that everyone wants to see when they come here. This big collection of rocks. All this graffiti completely scattered. I don't know if that makes sense. There's just so much graffiti all over these rocks. Like every single one. You can't even begin to figure out what all of it says because there's so much of it. And people like write over. They write over each other's graffiti as well. So. I know there's a couple I might point out. Like that that picture right there of the girl. That's pretty sick. Uh, let's keep going. Well, this, I like this area because it's like really flat. It's great. I have a photo on my Instagram I was, that was taken when I was on one of these rocks. But that right there, that's new. Uh, let me see what it says. Prince, Prince of Darkness. And then that board, that board wasn't there last time I was here. And then there's... Apparently, Lucy's cave, Lucifer. So apparently, that's Lucifer's cave. So that's not that's not great. Um, what else? That right there looks like the other entrance I was talking about. I'm gonna see what's over here real quick. This welcome. And beware. There's more stuff over here. There's more graffiti. I forgot that this place exists. What the fuck? I don't want to be no Logan Paul or anything, but there's a rope hanging from the tree right there. That's kind of concerning. But this place is awesome. Be yourself. <laughs> Help, I'm a rock. No one can hear you. Dang. I want to know what the fuck's up with that rope. Safe. Something. Some white claw bottles. Of course. Ugh. So I assume that this right here leads to the like an edge where you can <laughs> Yeah, this is so that must be down there. We're on top of Lucifer's Mountain now. And that must be where we were a minute ago.
Alright guys, so this was, I'm going to call the place Lucifer's Cave because of the, the text over there says Lucifer's Cave on it. I don't know, actually, it's not really a cave. Um, I'll think of a name, like Lucifer something. I think that would be really good for clickbait. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and comment down below any other places you want me to explore, any other video recommendations. Eh, this video kind of gave me a ton of anxiety coming here, but now that I'm here and I realize that it's not as bad as I thought it would be, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I uh, seeking discomfort. So, like I said, enjoy, like the video, comment down below. More video recommendations. I'm not sure if I'll record anything else today, but I'm probably gonna leave this spot right here. I'm gonna go find another place to explore or something else to do. So I wanted to have the uh, the outro here because it's so amazing. It's such a really cool, it's a really cool spot for an outro and videos in general. So. Uh, and music videos too. If someone wanted to shoot a music video here, just let me know. I'll send you the location. But uh, if that's all, then have a great day, and I'll see you next time, guys. Ah. Two guys chilling in the something. Five feet apart, cause something. Know that you do not know. Interesting graffiti.